Breathing is dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Subaru Impreza. The Impreza suspension is good. It is exceptionally strong and has ingredients for every taste and budget. Structurally, this is McPherson strut front and back. On simple atmospheric cars with a moderate driving style, investments are almost not required, unless they ask for replacement at least once every 100-150 thousand shock absorbers and some slanted ones. With powerful cars, everything is a little more complicated. Wide bodies have their own levers, of course more expensive, and each modification has its own small differences in components and calibrations. The steering of this generation Impreza with a simple power steering is pretty capricious. The pump resource is very moderate, it starts to hum as soon as possible. The risk factors are known – lower fluid levels, dirty oil, just 120 plus mileage. Together with the pump, the current rail also appears. The reason is higher road loads and traditional weak side bushings. If it's just a leak of the stem oil seals, then the repair is simple and inexpensive. Worse, if the road began to rust when moisture gets in, the later happens regularly since the rail is quite low. There were no problems with the right-hand drive rail, it cost 5-7 thousand rubles for disassembly and 15 in the store, but left-hand drive is much more expensive – new 70,000 and restored 25-30. Almost all Subaru Impreza's are four-wheel drive, the exception is Japanese right-hand drive cars with a 1.5 engine, they are front-wheel drive. Basically, the choice of transmissions remained the same as on the previous generation Impreza. 5-speed manual gearboxes for all engines, except supercharged ones, 6-speed automatic gearboxes for the most powerful versions, 4-speed automatic gearboxes for naturally aspired engines, and a new 5-speed automatic gearbox from Tribeca for supercharged ones. The main components of transmissions in Subaru are made with a traditional margin of safety. Only in the case of versions with powerful turbo engines, it is worth paying close attention to checking the rear CV joints and the gearbox. And with runs over 200,000 also to the drive shaft and front CV joints. 5-speed manual gearboxes are strong enough for atmospheric engines, but for turbo engines and torque over 350 nm they are rather weak. The very design of the housing becomes a problem. Due to vibrations, it cuts off the gears and cripples the shafts, usually the second, third and fifth gear. The components are expensive, but the used boxes are cheap, since they are compatible in design with the earlier versions of the first Impreza. And there, the center differential with the viscous locking clutch is made much more reliably than in modern systems. The biggest problem with any manual gearbox on the Impreza is the center differential block. Over time, it wedges the blocking clutch and the car begins to eat rubber and fuel in large quantities, moves jumping at the moments when the blocking should be triggered, and stubbornly slides the front axle in turns. In principle, the clutch can be reanimated by flushing the clutch back and pouring new oil into it. Even with a conventional viscous machine, the problems will disappear. True, there will be almost no blocking. For its correct operation, you need to select silicone oil with a reverse viscosity. They are on sale, but Subaru doesn't officially give recommendations for replacement, and independent selection is not always successful. A new center differential unit costs from 18,000 rubles and serves about 100,000 km. The manufacturer doesn't officially offer other recovery options. Breakdowns of the front differential, wear of rings of synchronizers and clutches of engagement are not typical for out-of-race operation. Six-speed manual gearboxes are much more reliable. They have a completely different design of the case, which adequately perceives a very large moment. Not any turbo engine will roll it. It can withstand drift and tune in with a peak torque rise of over 500 nanometers. But the center differential in it works even harder, and the resource doesn't even reach the modest hundreds of thousands of kilometers than it works in five states. And the gear shift works have plastic lining that were out to 150,000 mileage. After their death, the wear of the engagement clutches and the fork themselves begins. The 4-speed automatic transmission 4EAT is very reliable and quite driver-driven, only when compared with other 4-speed automatic transmissions of those times. In fact, the car with it poses a lot in dynamics and acquires a good appetite for fuel. The unit itself is one of the options for the Jatco F4EAT automatic transmission, but it has been significantly redesigned for installation on Subaru and its own well body, incompatible with other brands. Conservatism in design turns into elephant in reliability. At a torque of less than 300 nm, the box feels at ease with almost any mileage, provided that the oil and external filter are changed on time, as well as the torque converter is repaired on time with the replacement of the blocking lining. In case of severe operation, it is recommended to change the oil more often than the maximum 60,000 km, but not earlier than 
3040. The cooling system with a heat exchanger in the tank is generally very reliable. Leaks are rare, but cases of antifreeze getting into ATP have been noted. Its efficiency is sufficient for most applications. The exception is heavy off-road driving and towing a trailer. In this case, the installation of an external radiator is recommended. On this generation of Impreza, the dream of all racers has finally come true. Together with powerful turbo engine, the 5-speed automatic transmission 5E80 was routinely installed. This automatic transmission is also an evolution of Jetco designs, this time the JR57E, which has proven itself well on such respected models as the Nissan 350Z and Infiniti FX. Of course, Subaru has a very special body and value bodies of its own design. Unlike its four-stage predecessor, the five-stage is relatively capricious. Basically, due to the novelty of the design, it has at least a dozen different variants of belt bodies of several different generations. In general, the box provides a resource of 200-300 thousand kilometers before major repairs, but it can fail many times over trifles, mainly due to the failures of solenoids, wiring and sensors. On the mechanical side, breakdowns of the front axle drive shaft and its differential are noted. It is made in the form of planetary gear. It splits the axles of the satellite and bearings. Less often they encounter oil pump breakdowns and a limited resource of the brake band and overrunning clutch of the overdrive drum. Such problems are typical for operation with high mileage and even with dirty oil and with severe overheating. The torque converter lockup linings were out here earlier than in 4E80. After about 150,000 mileage, it's already worth checking the purity of the oil at each MLT test and changing the filter of the box. The increased amount of hassle is more than offset by better dynamics, reduced fuel consumption and the added bit of drive. Finally, let me remind you the standard cooling system on this automatic transmission is greatly lacking. On a light Impreza, the situation is better than on a heavy crossover, but it is still better to install an additional radiator. From now on, those who think that everything is fine with the body of the Impreza, the interior is not bad and everything else is excellent, it's better not to read. For those who can clench their teeth and swap a Toyota JZ with an R154 gearbox into the Impreza, you can also close the tab and go looking for a suitable replacement unit. For everyone else, I will tell you how often the typical Impreza ownership history develops. Let's say you have a vegetable 1.5 EL15 under the hood. These motors are generally very reliable in all versions. Yes, they die when the oil runs out, and it will certainly end as soon as the engine starts to eat it and the owner forgets that the level needs to be monitored or he will forget that there is actually a timing belt and he needs to change all the rollers at least once every 60-90,000 and the belt itself is not the cheapest or he will be too lazy to change the candles and will not check the coils before a long journey either it will just ride with an empty tank or a dying gas pump or it will float with bad gasoline in general he will make one of those mistakes that the owner of the opposition ultimately commits then you will think about which motor to put, the same EL15 or still find a 2 liter aspired, since simple options seem to cost about the same, easily stand up instead of EL and provide much better dynamics. The 2.0 EJ204 motors, which were regularly installed on this Impreza, are also very very reliable. They are able to go through their 250-300 thousand until the wear of the piston catches them or the oil lubrication forces the owner to make a major overhaul. But the troubles of the Polterashka are added liner deformations during overheating. The block here is delicate, made using open deck technology and even without reinforcing protrusions, and the liners are more loaded, their wear is more noticeable and the fourth cylinder knocks more often. If you have an American car, then you might get an interesting motor like the EJ253. It is COHC with one camshaft in each cylinder head, but 16 valve and with I. AVLS phase control. This is still a very reliable engine, but its oil appetite is completely indecent, especially if the engine is from the series in which the cooling of the rear is not optimized, and the thermostat for forgetfulness of the service was installed an, as a standard one and not a low temperature one. Most likely, it can also drive its 250-300 thousand kilometers, but surely something will happen before the natural wear of the piston will begins. This is facilitated by more torque than and higher loads on the crankshaft and liners and thinner liners in combination with narrower channels of the cooling system. However, let's go back to the typical scenario of owning an Impreza. When replacing a dead 1.5 engine, there is no guarantee that the 2 liter will be exactly the same as the one installed on Impreza of this generation. 
For example, it can be AG2O4 without hydraulic lifters, but with AVCS and a power of 150 forces. 16 valve SOHC EJ20 labeled 203 and 202 will be slightly cheaper. 204, 253, and 254 are significantly more expensive, but with the introduction of electronics, there will be a little more hassle. For experienced electricians in Subaru services, however, this task is typical. So if you replace the Dead 1.5 with a relatively leave 2.0 or even 2.5 and it works. Often not so long. Everything again depends on the operating style. Many car owners stubbornly do not understand that pouring 90 second gasoline and 5W30 oil is not a good idea if you have Subaru with EJ and sometimes want to push the sneaker. Then everything repeats itself either due to knocking or oil eater or both together. If the replacement of the motor is accompanied by the active use of the constructor with the installation of supercharging or more power cylinder head and control units for low power blocks, then it may simply not live up to the oil burner. After the next death, the engine either changes to the one that better meets the aspirations of the owner of the car or capitalizes, often with the installation of reinforced liners, an improved oil pump and red liners. Depending on the quality of work and, again, the style of operation, sooner or later the cycle repeats itself. How long will it take between replacing motors is an interesting question. The scale not to press the gas pedal with poor gasoline with hot air at the inlet after traffic jams without turning on the manual control of the fans and checking the oil temperature before annealing really saves the situation. Plus, it's just not worth saving on consumables, oil filters, fuel and maintenance. Unfortunately, it only seems that everything is simple, in fact, usually study is accompanied by large-scale cash infusions, tears and nerves over a long period. It should be noted that swaps for Subaru engines are cheap only as long as we are talking about massive atmospheric engines or low-power 2-liter turbocharged engines. Everything else is much more expensive, especially in good condition. The supercharged versions of the engines on the Impreza WRX and WRX STI are mainly 2.5 AG255, AG257 engines and the legendary 2-liter AG207 with 265 horsepower is also found on the Japanese right-hand drive cars and more. In powerful supercharged engines, all the complexities of aspired engines are raised to a degree. The timing belt and spark plugs are less resource, the engines are much more demanding on fuel and the state of the cooling system. The 2.5-liter engines are especially famous for their rims. If you put good oil and AI-100 gasoline, often also methanol and water on the intercooler and besides observes the aforementioned rules of careful operation, there is a chance that the engine will work for a relatively long time, 150,000. And after a fairly simple overhaul with the replacement of liners and piston groups, the same number. On this information about the problems of Subaru Impreza is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.